So here you have it. We're at the end. We got Jack's long-term play like we do every week. We talked a little bit about this title on this week's Three Up, Three Down, where we cover those hot and cold comic market trends. But Venom number 23, you're talking Scotty Young. A lot of times we sit there and poke fun at these baby variants, but this one's a hit, right, Jack? Yeah, this one's a big hit. Um, and this one is a hit for all the reasons I'm going to talk about. Like I, Nothing I think I say – um, is going to surprise people. This may be one of my least controversial long-term plays, which is a little bit surprising because I don't know if I ever thought I'd be picking a Scotty Young baby variant for a long-term play. Although I did talk last night on the um, on three up, three down, as you mentioned about you know the kind of increased value we've seen in the market for Scotty Young artwork uh, just across the board due to his just overwhelming popularity, but. This is really about Donnie Cates' popularity. No disrespect to Ryan Stegman, who's also uh, featured on the cover. This is really and truly about the fact that um, Donnie Cates is an absolute monster um, on the secondary market. Everything that he creates is getting bought up by investors, collectors, speculators, really everybody, readers. Um, so this cover depicting him on the cover has that kind of kitschy buzz that um, collectors just seem to think is cool. It also makes for such amazing um, signature opportunities. And we're coming into con season. It's kind of well-timed. Donnie Cates is super accessible. He just announced today he's going to be at MegaCon um, in Orlando in April. Um, he does all the big major conventions. Uh, so signature opportunities for Donny Cates are there. He's usually with Ryan Stegman. Ryan Stegman is another person who's pretty accessible. Scotty Young used to be extremely accessible. He's less accessible now, but he is out there. So this is a, a triple signature that absolutely can be had. Um, and I think that this is a, a book that people are going to rush to do. I also made the comment on the written article on simplemanscomics.com where we ha have the Bolo list. Um, and I, and I do kind of a little um, write up on my feeling on the uh, long-term play of the week. And a lot of it's kind of different opinions than what I say here. So you should check that out on a weekly basis. Also like this week, it was up far before it was on any other social media platform. Um, but this, it, this is, it, it's really a, a kind of a case of people's love for Donny Cates. Uh, people are going to be all over this book. Um, people are going to have Ryan Stegman and Scotty Young use that like white cover to do some awesome remarks. Um, I think that there's, there's value in it for that reason. And then why did it happen? Right? Like, because this is one of those books as an open order variant, you would think, well, retailers would have been prepared, right? They would have ordered a million of this. It's, it's a no brainer. Why is this going for $20 right now on eBay? Um, the day of release of a Scotty Young cover B. Well, it's simple. The, the cover art wasn't there. So we've seen this happen before where that cover art gets solicited, um, where the, the book gets solicited. We just see Scotty Young variant. And I know every retailer probably thought the same thing. They were like, okay, well, I need to order these because people do buy these Scotty Young especially Venom variants. Um, they've, if you actually, if you go back, I said this to Brian yesterday, um, just about every Venom Scotty Young variant is an above cover price book. But here we are, the day of release, and it's a $20 book. And it's largely because of that kind of mentality that retailers have no choice but to order. We talk about it with FOC on the last call show. Um, they've got to get those orders in and they've got to use the information they've gotten. If you don't have that image, if all you know is the artist and you've got to kind of go on an assumption, if they would have known Donnie Cates was going to be depicted on this cover, they may have upped their order. If they would have had time to see how the market reacted specifically, because the second this cover got announced, it was shared all over social media Everyone knew this was going to be a popular book, but it's the long-term play of the week because I actually think this book has room to grow. I think this book is going to get slabbed. I think there's going to be less and less of this book available on the market. I think this book is going to be put into PCs. It's going to it cross sections a lot of people. I think Venom collectors are going to have to have it for their variant collection. I think Donnie Cates fans are going to have to have it. Um, I think Scotty Young fans are going to have to have it. And anytime you've got multiple pools dipping into the same source you have room for growth within a book um so this is a book i think 
is solid long-term growth. On top of it, I just think it's cool for the same reasons I thought that that Thor number four, or was it King Thor number four, um, Del Mundo, Jason Aaron book was cool because I just think that paying tribute to a writer who has done so much for that character in that way um, is pretty unique. We have seen this done before, though, by Scotty Young. He actually had Brian Michael Bendis on the cover of a book once, and that did literally nothing on the secondary market. So that gives you an idea of the difference in popularity between Brian Michael Bendis and Don Cates. But for those reasons, and oh so many more, this is my long-term play of the week.